There's only about 10 labs or so in the world that are, are doing what we're doing uh, as far as atomic resolution cryomicroscopy. So that means that we're seeing atoms uh, through images. Most of the things we're looking at were the first set of eyes to ever see this. So me and my students were the first people to ever see the HIV trimer structure. When we're looking at structures, we're often thinking how to design them, improve them, turn them into vaccines. I came here uh, from Duke University and I really you know, enjoyed California and enjoyed the environment. The science that's going on here, the access to, to collaborators and, and really technology uh, is like nowhere else. Antibodies typically are coming from Dennis Burton's lab across campus or collaborators from all over the world. I work really closely with Andrew Ward. So he can get an image of the proteins that we can't sometimes. A few years ago, we found that mixtures of antibodies could actually cure an Ebola virus infection. We put his data together with mine and we understand which antibodies we want to combine. And then we can do the actual cellular experiments here to see if that's true and how to best defeat this virus. That wouldn't be possible in a single lab to be doing all of those things at the same time. We can push harder than really anybody else right now.